Hello. I'm sorry, I know I look a mess. Jesus is coming so soon. He's coming so soon. If you don't know him, now is the time to know him. Fall onto your knees. Cry out to Jesus. He wants to save all souls. Soon will be the time of sifting the, the wheat from the tares. Make sure you're not a tear. Make sure you are his. If there's any shadow of a doubt within your soul, fall onto your knees. Ask Christ to reveal himself. Ask Jesus to say, I, Lord, I want to know your truth. He will answer you. Years I have not posted things he has wanted me to post out of my own lack of understanding and just pride, I suppose. Not wanting to be in my flesh and just having a reverence for his Holy Spirit. But it's the end. He's coming so, so soon. And it's wonderful, but it's also such a heavy time because there's so, there's so many people. There's so many people that are lost, deceived. Lord, I just pray that you have mercy, that you use this to reach anyone who could be seeking, searching. You will reveal yourself to them. I have faith. You can watch parts of my testimony. And yeah, it's, it's a lot, I know. You can write me off as being crazy, but I'm not. Truly, I'm just a daughter of the mighty king. And I know if he can save my soul out of all the things I have been through in my life, if he can redeem me, he can redeem you, and he wants to. No sin is so great that he cannot bear your burdens. He will give you freedom. He will give you rest. He came to seek that which is lost. All of heaven rejoices for the one that is brought back into the fold, for the one who is saved. Please don't endure the great tribulation. Don't endure the times which are set before us. If you think 2020 has been crazy, this is, this is nothing. This is just the, the, the beginning of sorrows. And hardly, we don't even know what's coming. Such intensity, wrath, horribleness. You do not want to endure through that. And worse, you don't want to die in your sin without knowing the Lord. He will set you free. Please, heed this. I'm not going to teach. I'm not going to preach. There are so many great evangelists and preachers on YouTube that you can look up. I have a whole bunch of videos saved. You can go through my library and find different videos. I'm not here to claim to be a prophetess at all. Not at all. I'm not here to... I'm just here to, to try to... If it's anyone, even one person, come to him. Come to him. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Just a few of the things I have been involved in in my past. I have had an abortion. I understand the atrocity that it is. And I was a feminist. I was an atheist when I had that abortion. I had relationships with women when I had that abortion. Instantly, God convicted me. That is wrong. That is wrong. And in my pride, in just my, my own wretchedness, my own sinful nature, we all are born with sin. And there isn't a one path to God. I went then and was so caught up into the New Age deception. There is a literal hell literally a lake of fire a place of eternal torment our comprehension of what love is we can't understand what love is until we understand truly who god is god so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son to die on the cross for us 
that whosoever shall believeth in him shall have everlasting life and not perish. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. He wants to deliver your soul. Everyone on this earth deserves eternal torment. You may say, how can a God who is loving and merciful and all good do that? We don't need to know everything. We don't need to know all the answers. That is part of our sin problem. We want to know everything. We want to figure everything out. How can we possibly know? Were you there when the world was created? Were you there if you believe in evolution when everything just spontaneously manifested itself? Were you there? Do you know the contents in your neighbor's garage right now? Down to every single last word on every page of every book? No, you don't. God knows the words out of our mouth before we even think them. His word upholds all of life and creation itself. Everything. He knows everything. So unless he reveals it to us, and he has given, he has given us, look, he's given us his holy word to show us, to teach us the things he wants us to know. Oh, the Bible's been tampered with. Oh, the Bible, you know, it's just a accumulation of who knows what. All the excuses out there, all of the things. I used to believe that. I used to believe in such nonsense. Such nonsense and foolishness. Because my heart was darkened. I would have, I'd rather worship the creation rather than the creator. Don't be like me. Don't be like the world. Please, if the Holy Spirit is pricking your heart, don't take it from me. Get on your knees. Cry out to him. Jesus, I want to know your truth. I want to know your way. He will show you. He will show you. And for those of you in the body of Christ that are confused, that are caught in between these wavering, this extreme, that extreme, yeah, it's because we're at the end. He wants us to love our brethren regardless where they're at in the sanctification process. And it's not for us to know. It's not for us to get overly consumed in, oh, are they saved? What fruit are they bearing? It's not a, just reach souls for Christ before it's too late. Tell people about the rapture. Tell people about the great tribulation. And if you don't believe in a, a pre-trib rapture, Take it up with God. I'm not here to teach you. I'm not here to preach at you. Take it up with God. He will show you. He will teach you. That's the thing about God. He's so faithful. He is so faithful. And the everlasting hope, apart from eternal life and salvation and getting to live eternally in heaven, with Jesus. The hope is that he is coming soon. He is coming soon. Regardless of what this life throws at you. Part of the fruits I've experienced from salvation, prior to salvation, deep in my soul at the end of the day, there was just no peace. Peace was always fleeting. It was always experiential. It was always fleeting. It was always because I did this certain spiritual practice or I said this certain prayer or I did this yoga practice or I fasted at this time or I ate this certain concoction or I drank this. or It was always having to do with some vain, repetitious, ceremonial thing. It, it was not a... Just this deep inner peace and knowing the Lord is coming close. There's two sides of, of things happening right now. You have people who, they believe in God. They believe they are Christians. Yet they deny hell. They deny eternal consequence. They deny that they themselves are wicked. How can you be a Christian 
How can you know you're being led by the Holy Spirit unless you have conviction in your life? Jesus came to preach repentance. He came to preach the kingdom. He came to warn about the eternal consequences of sin. Are you going to be made perfect in this life? No, it is only his shed blood that gives us righteousness. He is our perfection. He chastises us. He brings us into relationship with him. And I am constant. There's so many people in my life, friends, family, who are caught in new age deception, thinking still of we have this one God who is love. Everything is full circle. We are created in the likeness and image of God. So therefore, we are constantly co-creating our reality and manifesting anything that we speak or think into existence and everything is just energy. And one day, you know, at the end of this life, we will either be reincarnated or we will then go on to just that next journey on the path. Yeah, the next journey on the path, heaven or hell. You can choose to believe or you can choose to not believe. You have the choice. I cannot force you. And I so wish I could. Because regardless if you want to believe it or not, it's true. And his wrath is coming. I don't want anyone to go to hell. I don't want anyone to have to endure that. And I know that there is hope for every soul out there. Every soul can come to Christ. Jesus wants that. His word speaks of that. He wants every knee to bow. And so forgive me for being emotional. Forgive me for... Just I know I look a hot mess. For not being just eloquent in my words. But if you have been seeking, if you are tired, I ask you to test the spirits. Test every vision. Test every experience. Cry out to the true living God, Jesus the Christ, to reveal his truth to you. You want to discredit the Bible? You want to discredit everything else? Cry out to God. He will come and show himself to you not obviously like you're not going to see him if you think you see god in a vision that's satan satan is deceiving the masses he is deceiving the masses even within christianity satan is he knows his time is short don't die in your sin don't enter into the great tribulation not knowing truth. There's time still. There's time. We don't know how long. It could be days. It could be weeks. It could be months. It could even be years. But Jesus wants your soul to be his. If you call yourself a Christian and you don't believe in hell, if you don't believe that you are wicked and wretched beyond all belief, if you are not sorry for your sin, if you don't understand what it means to be convicted, I got news for you. You're not being led by the true Holy Spirit. Why do I differentiate between the true Holy Spirit and a false spirit? Because there are many false spirits. Satan has legions of demons that are wreaking havoc on people that are giving them dreams and visions and experiential based faith that feels good or that has this certain feeling to it. Our feelings are constantly changing all of the time. Just like when you're at the ocean and you watch a wave come, there is just continuous always changing. All of creation groans. The reason things are so messed up in this world is because of sin. 
Sin separated us. Our hearts cannot be made righteous by anything we do. We must put our faith on the cross and what Jesus did on the cross. I had to hear the gospel so many times before it finally took root. I encourage you to go study Matthew 13. Look it up. I'm not going to get all, you got to go to the KJV. I'm not, no, whatever Bible, at least, you know, stay within. Don't go to the Message Bible, please, for the love of God. Just grab a Bible and study Matthew 13 over and over and over again. Then go study Romans. Read it over and over and over again. Read Hebrews. Read Revelation. Ask God lead you in the Bible where he would have you until you finally get to a point where you fall onto your knees and you cry out, Jesus Christ, save my soul for I am a wretched sinner and I can do nothing apart from you. <laughs> Please. Don't do it for me. Don't do it for anyone. If you have such this in the New Age thought philosophy or in this contemporary Christian philosophy or in this one world religion philosophy, it's always brought to, oh, no, I know God is love and I am connected to God and he is expressing himself through me or source is expressing itself through me. I have news for you. You were caught up in your wickedness. You were caught up in your iniquity. The Son of Man shall send forth his angels, and they shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend and them which do iniquity, and shall cast them into a furnace of fire. There shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Then shall the righteous shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father. Who hath ears to hear, let him hear. So shall it be at the end of the world. The angels shall come forth and sever the wicked from among the just and shall cast them into the furnace of fire. There shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Somber yourselves before the Lord. Please. Grace be with you.